guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have my buddy Gerard's crib. We're gonna give it a full tour of his aquarium. He has some amazing tanks in here, a lot of knowledge. So we're gonna go through and give a tour of some of his tanks. How long you been in the hobby? Uh, well, actually, I had a tank, like a little ten-gallon tank, when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I was uh, I was in high school. Had it for about a year and a half, made a lot of mistakes, and then I just, you know, I eventually just shut the tank down. Recently, it's been a little over a year. It's been like a, a year and a few months or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Tell the people about your business a little bit. Yes, it's called QC Naturescapes, and basically it's just an aquarium maintenance and setup business. A lot of people don't necessarily have the time to clean tanks and stuff like that, keep them presentable, maybe you're having company over soon. Maybe you're a business and you don't have time to maintain the tank that you love. Mm -hmm. I can fill that gap for you. So uh, you can find me at QC Naturescapes at Facebook. You can like search that and get to my business page. Yeah, he definitely has some pretty cool tanks and he really takes good care of the tank. So we're going to start over here at the, it's 125 gallon, right? Yep, 125 gallon. Uh, so yeah, this one hasn't been, this is the newest tank. It hasn't been set up all too long uh, i want to say a couple oh man oh, it's, it's probably been about two three months okay um what type of uh, filtration you running on here we're just running an fx4 it's a canister filter which um is doing a great job definitely is yeah it's very quiet and the water stains crystal clear let's see what type of fish you got some yellow labs in here yeah just got some just species only only got yellow labs and uh, i think that is super fun. dope like having yeah. a planet uh yellow lab tank that is super dope just african tank period you don't see that a lot mm -hmm. what was your whole like vision behind this tank my whole vision was to have like a centerpiece tank in the living room that's just kind of eye-catching that's why I and I've also never uh, never kept any cichlids before so after I got the 125 I wanted to have like a little bit of a bigger fish in there mm -hmm. so that's why the yellow labs are in there and they're just really cool they're they're bright colored fish and uh, they like to live in big numbers I plan on getting a few more mm -hmm. but they they just look cool i, yeah, I think cool. they look cool and they're super fun and they like to school too so what's some of the plants you got in here um it's it's uh so there's just views of and uh there's a couple different types of views and some anubias you got big anubias it's like uh i think it's anubias uh hastafolia or something like that okay and uh there's a couple different types of views one of which is actually starting to flower. If you look over here, yeah, there's, see that. they're shooting some flowers. And one of them flowered earlier, and then the flower went away. But it's exciting that they're, the other yeah, ones are making flowers. Yeah, that's how you know they're doing good in this tank. Yeah. All and I see also flowers. that you got like a DIY background on here. Exactly. Yeah, so. Explain uh, how you uh, kind of made that. Yeah, so what we did was take expanding foam, we laid it, on, laid it on its side, we took expanding foam, sprayed it on the background, let that dry, and then we carved it, mm -hmm. and then we painted it. And, you know, included some kind of like fun interactive elements to it. There's fish caves, which the cichlids like, you know, because they, they like little like hidey holes. Yeah, they and like little like nooks that. and crannies. Yeah, yeah. They like the little, little tiny small spots, so. Uh, you know, so Rachel and I carved those. In. Actually, Rachel did all the uh, all the caves and stuff. In there. Okay. But uh, I did most, like most of the carving, not all of it. It was a group effort. This thing's right. six feet long. So yeah, it, some it do <laughs> take some time. Yeah, and then, you, and then you paint it however you want, and you know, um, see you you have like a community tank or something. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make little pockets in there. You can put plants in there. You know, like true, possibilities true. Possibilities are endless. It's really, it definitely it's really is. Fun. Super dope tank, yeah. man. Got some crystals in there, which we actually got from, uh, we have some family in Arkansas. So these are like Arkansas quartz crystals, which make a nice little uh, hardscape. Yeah, they bring there. a nice little element. I like this one. I go over here. It's like, it's really shiny. You can really see the shine on this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's when the light hit it. Love it. So is this wood like, is that like one piece of driftwood, like with a slate on it? How's it standing up like that? Um, 
So it's actually just flat. It's cut off at uh, it's just cut off flat like that. Mm -hmm. And oh man, there's a there's a handful of pe there's a handful of different pieces of wood. I think this is uh, Lopani wood, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. So it kind of like you gotta stay up on your water changes because it leaches a lot of right tannish. Yeah. Water, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. How often y'all doing water changes? Like once a week, I guess. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's it's a little bit more than that, you know. Like I, oh, I, squeeze, it, bit. I squeeze it in every week, every other weekend or so, whenever I get a chance. Okay. You know? Well, that's still good. I mean, that's why you got good yeah. filtration, though. Yep, yep. And then you got the plants and everything, so the the system ecosystem is balanced. You can tell, it man. Is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful tank, man. Yeah, thank you. And also, uh, we got some plants growing out of the top here. Oh, you can see them really good. It's kind of dark in here, but. There's a couple different types of monsteras. We got mm -hmm. a mini monstera. This is like the uh, uh, Ednanzi, uh, like Swiss monstera. And then there's just the Deliciosa, just a regular monstera, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a separate point. No. Oh. Is that a separate one? It's yeah, just, it's exactly. just growing, huh? <laughs> no, this, no, this is the Deliciosa. This is a big one. Okay. Yeah, then it's a mini monstera and the Swiss cheese monstera. So that's a little extra filtration and uh, it just looks cool. <laughs> oh, look at them trying to school. I love Yellow Labs. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, you so give them a little bit of food. Yeah. Yeah, let's feed them a little bit. This is for Mr. Feed the Fish. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Gotta feed the fish. And then that's the best part. I'll be feeding my fish oh, any yeah. chance I get. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. Surprised these guys ain't started breeding in here yet. I so see you got you definitely got some males. You got quite a few males. Uh huh. You know that, that's what people say. You know, man. You know that when the time's right. Yeah, they'll spawn. They'll, they'll spawn eventually. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't though. Super dope, man. Yeah, I think there's about, oh, right now there's got to be about between 20 and 25. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Yeah. You could definitely do another 20 more in there. Yeah, yeah, I want to put like, you know, about 40 in there. Yeah, once they, I mean, if they start spawning, you wouldn't have to buy another yellow lab ever again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not. You know, yeah. never again. Yeah. But yeah, that's tanks though. What else you want to show us, man? Yeah, we got a little, uh, we got a little small, like three and a half gallon. Let's see if it's going to slide up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. It's super dope. So you it's got the piece lily growing at the top. Mm -hmm. And what we got in here, like a little, I think I seen a little puffer fish, right? Yeah. A little pea puffer. Come, you come to the front. There's that. It's sitting over here. He's kind of hanging out under this dubious leaf. Oh, yeah, I see him now. Oh, man. What is, I, I forgot the. It looked like some hair grass or something. Up. Liliopsis brasiliensis. Okay. And I, I forget what is that. That's not like, is that a micro sword? I have no clue. And then you got a Anubius in there. Yeah, and then I also have a, a Wendelof Java fern. Java fern, yeah, I see that oh, in the back back there. I've had that before. It's a pretty cool plant. Yeah, it really is. You don't really catch it too much. Yeah, super dope. I, I like that. Nice, nice. I see over here you got a polydarium. Yes, sir. Let's talk about this bad boy over here. Fire's going off. You might not be able to see all the details here. I'm going to open up the lid. Maybe release the fog a little release bit. Release a little bit of fog, yeah. I'm surprised you ain't put like a little reptile or dart frog or something in there. Oh, man. This thing ain't wrapped up tight enough to keep a frog in here. Oh. <laughs> They'll probably get out. Oh yeah, really? The cra down down yeah, crabs are notorious for escaping. Yeah, they're a little escape artists. So, uh, yeah. what size tank is this? Oh man, I think it's about a 55. 55 gallon. I, yeah, I haven't really uh, calculated the gallon, and I don't know. He said it was like a like a 30 gallon when I bought it off the guy. I think it's bigger than that. I don't yeah, know. It, it has to be because it's, it's tall. Than that. It's yeah, tall. It is. It is tall. So I see yeah. you got a bunch of different fish in here as well. Yeah, some yeah. Long fin, rosy barbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we got some giant danios. Yeah, I see some little corys down here. Yeah, those are Hebrosis cory cats. We got got about ten of those. They like to school. 
So I got a good group of them, and they, they actually do a really good job keeping the substrate clean. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Corey's definitely keep it clean. You said you uh, guys built this the same as the 125, the background, everything, right? Yeah, it's a, it's the exact same process. It's the expandable foam, concrete paint, and then. And there's some like in the back. There's like a space to house like the pumps to be able to access them. Yeah, yeah. Here, actually, you know what? So you can see it better. I'm going to get rid of the fog here right now. It's actually defeating the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> it looks cool, though. It looks oh, super nice. cool. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, you can see all the plants. Yeah, a lot of moss, a couple different types of ferns. There's even a little uh, waterfall right yeah, here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty waterfall. cool. Those are the Arkansas quartz crystals as well. Y'all just like what glued that into the background, or how did y'all get that in? Yeah, just like wedged in there. Yeah, yeah, carved the cave. Just wedged it in there. Um, yeah, used a little bit of uh, uh, what was that? It's silicone. Silicone. No, it's a silicone. To glue it, I used the um, Gorilla glue gun, but then oh. you put silicone to kind of seal the cracks. There. Correct. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, we used like the Gorilla glue super glue to mm -hmm. stick these little guys in there, and then. To make the let the water flow in here without getting lost in all the cracks, put some silicone in there to kind of just direct the water a little bit. Right. Yeah. Super dope, man. There's a pandagara in here somewhere. It's like a little weird sucker fish. Yeah, I, I seen him earlier. Somewhere. Uh, I don't know. It kind of it kind of comes and goes. Also, another little cool thing I put in here is these uh, botanicals. Those are, those are like little. Uh, Oh, I'm like, uh, I know you're talking about. Little gumball things. Yeah. They're little seeds that come off of a tree and they just, you know, they put the tannins in the water. Right, soften the water them. too. Mm hmm Provide yeah. little hiding spots. And... Super dope, man. So, this is the, I guess this is the first tank that kind of started it all. Mm-hmm. This is where it all this, started. Oh, this is where it all started. <laughs> and it's looking amazing, like. I love, the, two different states. I two love different the plants states. in here. I love the plants 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 in here. <laughs> Got some guppies in there, but it's mostly just a planted tank. But, yeah, it's amazing. You know. I like it a lot. I love the rotalia in here. Mm -hmm. Get the rotalia. Uh, uh, I'm definitely gonna try some of this Luigia. Oh yeah. How you say it? Uh, Luigia. Luigia. I think I think it's a, a su Luigia super red. Super or, red, yeah. That's what like I think. That. Yeah. And it's like I put a new light on here. Uh, this started off as just like one of those. Little kid. You know, it was a kid. It was a ten gallon mm -hmm. kid. It was an Aquion ten gallon kid from Petco, mm -hmm. something like that. I eventually got rid of the lid and allowed for these uh, these plants to just grow out of the top. They're just it's crazy. They're coming all the way. They're coming all the way through here. Yeah, it is. Good. And then even this, there's some stuff to hang on the back. Let's see, you got the pothos growing. Mm-hmm. And then you know you got the Java moss and. What is that plant back here in the back back there? Like that one that's growing pretty good back there. Uh, see, I don't know. I forget the exact name of that plant. I want to call it a hygrophila. And that's what it looked like. Uh, and that's the stuff that's also grown out of the top of the tank, too. But mm. it, it does beautiful under the water. And by the way, all that stuff right there in the in the back, that big grouping, it's just it's just been a uh, little... It, it, it makes little, like, runners or something i don't know it, it, it just grows off itself huh yeah and, and actually no i think it, it leans over mm. and then it makes roots kind of like kind of like these guys right here okay i got you so it leans over makes roots and then makes new plants so it's just taken off in there and it looks really cool it makes a really natural uh makes a really natural setting yeah it's super dope man i like that one too all right, we got some more tanks. Yeah, there's more. There's more. <laughs> two, two more. <laughs> this this one's also been set up rough, a little less than a year, but it's still. Yeah, I love how your is. Crips is looking, man. Yeah, Crips was, is. I love you know the Crips are my favorite plant, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, I love Crips, man. So they're looking really good in here, real mature. That's how I said earlier, like you can tell this mm -hmm. tank's been up and running for quite some time because. 
um, just based off how the plant's growth is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're taking off. They're making little, uh, they're, the crypts are making little runners, you know? Yeah, that's this what they the, do. This is the first one. You got another little guy down here, and then there's another one in the back that popped up. Mm-hmm. Looking yeah. good. He's got some guppies in here. Yeah, a bunch of guppies. There's a little guppy fry in there, too. And you said this is some fossil rock right here? Uh, Yeah, that's fossilized coral. Fossilized coral. Mm-hmm. Makes for a really cool little hardscape. Some more Arkansas crystal. Some spider wood. Yeah, it's looking good, man. All right, so this is the last tank in the house. Mm -hmm. And this is another 10 gallon. Yeah. You got a bunch of different plants in here as well. Some, what type of rotaio is that? Do you know? That's the same type. That's a rotundifolia. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. And then CBDs. I always wanted to try to breed those. Yeah, me too. Uh, you know, I got like maybe five of them initially mm -hmm. and for whatever reason these other four didn't really make it and that's the one lone survivor yeah they're probably a little finicky maybe maybe it was also kind of a newer tank and oh, okay yeah true the system wasn't really balanced yeah maybe it wasn't. the nitrates were kind of high i don't know which could be yeah okay. but you know we got the one lone survivor it's got good color on it and the blue tetras are looking healthier zipping around Definitely is. This is this is a tank where you got some more stuff from the from a, from the local fish swap too. Yeah, you did. You say yeah, got that. Uh, yeah, it's a little little, little resin fox head. <laughs> oh, that's a fox. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was a I thought it was a pig. I thought it was a pig at first. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. <laughs> well, I can see now a fox yeah, or a wolf a now. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it now fox that you really look at it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, and you got a hill stream loach in here. Mm -hmm. Those are cool. I've been, I never kept one of those. I need to give me one. I want to do like a hill stream lotion tank, like a river style tank, but like high flow. A lot of flow. Yeah. yeah really cool. I think that'd be super dope. Like a river yeah. style tank. Mm -hmm. It had like some, uh, some type of like, I guess maybe like rainbow fish. It have some rainbow fish and then hill stream lotions. I think that'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, man, for today's video. I want to thank him and his lady for letting me come through and check out um, their tanks and everything else they got on going on around here if you guys want to support him where they can find your business at that's qc naturescapes okay on facebook, on facebook. support yeah. him check out with him man he's definitely local to the area and he's uh definitely putting on for the community so that's gonna be pretty much it i'll catch you guys in the next one